गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज पॉइंटिंग वेक्टर व्हाट इज अ पॉइंटिंग वेक्टर एंड एस इज इक्वल्स टू ई क्रॉस एच इज नॉन एज पॉइंटिंग वेक्टर एस इज इक्वल्स टू ई क्रॉस एच इज नॉन एज पॉइंटिंग वेक्टर एंड इज इंटरप्रिटेड एज द पावर फ्लक्स दैट मीन्स amount of energy crossing unit area placed perpendicular to the vector per unit time the power flux that is uh, amount of energy crossing unit area placed perpendicular to the vector per unit time in a plane electromagnetic wave we know that e and h are at right angles to each other and uh, at right angles to the direction flow, direction of flow e and h are at right angles uh, to each other and at right angles to the direction of flow so e cross h must be along the direction of flow e and h both are perpendicular to each other and uh, also at uh, uh, right angle to the direction of flow so e cross h uh, direction must be along the direction of flow in case of uh, time varying fields if e and h are time varying fields then s is equals to e cross h q instantaneous value of the pointing vector let e and h be given by real part of the complex exponentials of the form e is equals to e not e power omega iota omega t e is equals to e not e power iota omega t now at a given point of space let us assume that e is given by the real part of the e not e power iota omega t and h by real real part of h not e power iota omega t and uh, Uh, here e not and h not are the complex vector functions of position these are the complex vector functions of position now let real and imaginary parts of the e and uh, of the e are e r and e i n let real and imaginary parts of e are e r and e i m so e is equals to real part of e not e power iota omega t so e will be equal to real part of e r plus iota e i m into cos omega t plus iota sin omega t and if we multiply it and find the real part of uh, the equation then we get e is equals to e r cos omega t minus e i m sin omega t similarly we can find uh, the real part of h and uh, which comes out to be h is equals to h r cos omega t minus h i m sin omega t these are representing the real part of the electric and uh, electric field vector and uh, h now s is equals to e cross h if we put the values of e and h and then we find uh, that s is equals to e cross h is equals to e r cross h r cos square omega t plus e i m cross h i m sin square omega t minus e r 
cross h i m plus e e i m cross h r into sin omega t cos omega t. Now, if we find e cross h star, then we get e naught e power iota omega t into h naught star e power minus iota omega t, and uh, finally we get uh, e cro e r cross h r e r cross h r plus e i m cross h i m plus iota into e i m cross h r minus e r cross h i m. This is equation second. Now, time average of pointing vector taken over a complete cycle. If we take time average of pointing vector and it's taken over the over a complete cycle, then we get uh, average of s is equals to average of e cross h is equals to half e r cross h r plus e i m cross h i m. This is the equation third. Now, if we compare equation second and third, then we get that uh, except the factor half, the real part of equation two is just the same as the quantity appearing in equation third. On comparing equations second and third, we note that except uh, for the factor half the real part of equation 2 is just the same as the quantity appearing in equation third. So we can write s is equal average of s is equals to uh, average of e cross h is equals to half into half real half into real part of e cross h star average of s is equals to half into real part of e cross h star. Now average electrostatic energy density we can define that uh, uh, average electrostatic energy density is equals to 1 by 4 epsilon e into e star. Similarly average magnetic energy density is equals to 1 by 4 mu into h into h star. 